And now to what all this means for the functioning and the stability of the Trump presidency. We turn to a man who has had a front row seat in the White House. Leon Panetta was chief of staff for President Bill Clinton. He then went on to serve as director of the CIA and secretary of defense in the Obama administration. Uh, Secretary Panetta, thank you for talking with us. So as somebody who's had a, a top job, the top job at the, at the White House's chief of staff, as we said at the Pentagon and the CIA, how do you read how this Comey episode has unfolded? Well, it's a very confusing picture, obviously, uh, because uh, a number of reasons have been presented as to uh, why it's happened. Uh, but, uh, you know, deep down, there's no question that however it happened and for whatever reasons it happened, that this has undermined the credibility of a very vital national security investigation. Uh, and somehow that credibility has to be restored. How has it undermined that credibility? It's undermined the credibility because uh, obviously the FBI uh, was investigating the whole issue of uh, Russian interference uh, in our election. And uh, despite the various reasons that have been presented, uh, there's no question that the president uh, remains concerned about that Russian investigation. Uh, and tying that concern with the fact that he fired the FBI director uh, and in the way he fired the FBI director clearly undermines the credibility of uh, the investigation. Is the White House going to continue to uh, try to influence the direction of that investigation? Uh, the key right now is for the Congress, for the Justice Department, for the President to uh, make sure they take steps to restore the credibility of that investigation by appointing a new director of the FBI who is fair and objective and credible. And I think they should also, frankly, give consideration to the appointment of a special prosecutor. Uh, because the very fact that this president continued to ask the FBI director as to whether or not he was the subject of an investigation, when a president does that, uh, it clearly is sending a signal that the White House is concerned about that investigation. Frankly, uh, it has to be an independent investigation, and it cannot have uh, or be influenced by the White House. Are you saying, Secretary Panetta, that there's no way the American people can have confidence in this investigation unless there's an outside independent special counsel? Well, my, my concern is that uh, when the president himself has asked the question about whether or not he's the target of an investigation, something, frankly, that, at least in my time, uh, is unheard of, that uh, a president would, in fact, ask uh, if he is the target of an investigation. When the president does that, uh, he clearly is sending a signal to what should be a very independent, fair, and objective investigation by the FBI. And the fact that he's raised that question tells me that whoever is going to be the next FBI director, whoever that is, will probably get the same question from the president at some point in time. And just because of that fact alone, I just think uh, some kind of independent prosecutor, committee, commission, whatever it would be, but something that is independent of the White House and independent of political influence uh, needs, to, needs to take place in this matter. How much does it matter that the president, that the White House is giving a different explanation for why this happened? They're saying it has to do with the fact that they say Director Comey uh, wasn't running the FBI uh, well. He was, and the way he, they say he mishandled the Hillary Clinton email situation. Well, uh, again, uh, and I look back on my days as uh, chief of staff to the president, I think. Uh, uh, when, a, when a major step like that is going to be taken, and uh, clearly somebody should have informed the president that once you fire the FBI director, uh, that uh, there's going to be a huge backlash because of the investigation that's going on. That, in the very least, the reasons for why he's firing him uh, should have been set down so that everybody had the same talking points. And clearly that did not happen here. And the president, again, today said uh, he'd been thinking about firing uh, 
Director uh, Comey for a long period of time. So whatever reasons have been given in these last few days has only created greater confusion about just exactly why this happened. Secretary Panetta, finally, and in just a few seconds, obviously you're a Democrat, but I know you talk to a lot of Republicans. How much difficulty do you think this president's facing in his own party? Well, I, you know, I think uh, whether you're Republican or Democrat, uh, there is an interest in conducting uh, an investigation into this national security issue. We've had a foreign adversary try to interfere in our election. That's a serious matter, and it needs to be investigated. So I think the Republicans, as well as the Democrats, are interested in putting this back on a track where you have a fair and independent and objective investigation that determines what happened here, whether there was any collusion or not with the campaign, the Trump campaign, and what should be done to make sure it never happens again. Former Secretary of Defense, Steve, former CIA Director, former White House Chief of Staff, Leon Panetta, thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll get the perspective of two conservatives on how Mr. Trump's recent moves have divided the Republican Party a little later in the program.